Hello friends, this video on getting to know plants part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when it comes to flower, a lot of arrangements come into picture. That's because the different types of flowers which we see, they vary very much from each other. Some flowers are yellow, some flowers are red, some have 5 petals, some have 10 petals. So, you know, they are different in a lot of ways. Now, what is estivation is the arrangement of sepals or petals in floral bud with respect to the other members of the same worm. So in estivation, we talk about how the petals are arranged. So these are the petals, right? So when you look at this rose, this is one petal, this is one petal, this is one petal, this is one petal. This is. One petal, this is but how these petals are arranged, whether it is one after another, or it is one overlapping on the other or they are all joined together. So how are they arranged? So if you look at the petals here in this picture itself, look at this yellow flower. See, you can very distinctly see each of these petals. But the way the petals are arranged in this flower and the way petals are arranged in this flower, that is very much different from each other. So estivation talks about those different arrangements of sepals and petals in a flower. So let us talk about the types of estivation. Now there are mainly four types of estivation. That is valvet, twisted, imbricate and vexillary. These are the four types of estivation. So I will not get into very much detail of each. But what I am trying to say is that how you can understand that okay this is the reason why different flowers are different. So let us quickly look at these different types of estivation. Now when we talk about valvate estivation, here the sepals or the petals are just like they just touch each other at the margin. So this is one petal, right? So this is one petal, this is second petal. So both of them just touch each other at the margin. Again the second and the third, they just touch each other at the margin. So again this is fourth, third and fourth and fourth and fifth. So all of them touch each other just at the margin. So that, that is valvate estimation. The next type is twisted. So in twisted you will see that margin of one will overlap with the margin of the other. So this is one, this is two. So margin of one is overlapping with the margin of two. Again margin of two is overlapping with the margin of three and so on. So that's twisted. When it comes to imbricate, so in imbricate margins overlap but not in a particular direction. So as you can see, the margins are overlapping on this side, the margins are also overlapping on this side. But here the pattern is like random. In this case, in twisted, you see 2 was above 1, so 3 was above 2, again 4 was above 3, so it was in a specific pattern. But in imbricate, they just overlap with each other in a random fashion, so there is no specific direction. And finally, vexillary. So in vexillary, it is seen in flowers which have 5 petals. Now here, you see that some petals are larger in size while others are smaller. So you see here, these are the smaller petals, these are the larger petals. So the larger pet petals will be present outside and they will enclose the smaller petals. So that's the arrangement in vexillary estivation. So looking at the screen, you can understand that how same number of petals can be arranged in many different ways. So the way these petals are arranged has to be either valvate, twisted, imbricate or vexillary. Now it is not only the way petals or sepals are arranged, even uh, how the male or the female sex organs are present in the flowers, based on that also we can classify flowers. Now certain flowers are unisexual, that is either stamen or carpel is present in that flower. So stamen is the male reproductive part and carpel is the female reproductive part. Now some flowers have either the male reproductive part or the female reproductive part. So here you also get to know that it is not necessary that all flower has to have stamen and carpel both. So some flowers will have only one of these two. Such flowers are called unisexual. So the word uni means one. 
So examples of such flowers are papaya, melon, corn. So now you might say that papaya is a fruit. But if you look at a papaya plant, you have a flower. And, and then later the flower gives rise to the seed as a process of reproduction. And then from that there you, and that's how you get the fruit. The other type of flower which has both stamen and carpel, they are called bisexual. The term bi means two. So examples of bisexual flowers would be rose, lily, sweet pea. So if you want, you can just try to see these yourself. Try to observe a papaya flower and compare it with that of a rose flower. You'll see that in rose, you'll be able to find both carpel and the stamen. But in papaya, that would not be the case. So let us look at the flower types based on the number of floral appendages. Now what does the floral appendages mean? It means the number of petals that we have. So there are flowers where the floral appendages are in multiples of three. For example, if you look at their petals, you will see, if, if you look at this flower, this is a lily. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And 6 is a multiple of 3. So multiple of 3 would be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on. So those flowers which have number of petals that are multiples of 3, they are called trimerous. And the word tri means 3. Similarly, you have tetrameres, where tetra means four. So these are those flowers which have appendages in multiples of four. So multiples of four would be four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, and so on. So if you look at a jasmine flower, you would see it has four. One, two, three, four. Four or multiple of four. Similarly, you can also have pentamerous flowers. So penta word means five. So in this case, any flower like hibiscus or periwinkle. So these flowers have either five petals or multiples of five. That could be 10 or 15 or 20 and so on. So in this way, we can also categorize flowers into various types depending upon the number of petals that they have. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.